Hello. Well, today is September the 20th, and today and this afternoon I went for a few hours around my area, Big Savalenia, San Fabian, to hunt for trees, leaf trees, that changed the colors earlier than the others. As always, I call them rogue trees because they are just, for some reason, some trees decide to change their colors earlier than anything else. Sometimes it's a group of trees, and at times it's just one in the midst of all others. It's very, very weird, but I did not want to miss the chance to get it while the leaves are all in the trees. Because, to be honest, once a good storm, a good wind comes, those leaves are gone and you will see now a selection of the trees this is for example at the friend's house Raymond her house is in the back background and I took this with my Osmo pocket it is just beautiful again all other trees are green this one full in blue this is a little picture of the forest and this is across the street a gorgeous tree. I'm there a bit early. I will have to come back in a week, 10 days if the leaves are still there. That should be just spectacular. Oh, that was in the forest, deep forest. Uh, some, some trees are extremely uh, sticking out. Mostly maple trees right now who change maple leaves. They seem to go red earlier than everything else. But they do have a, a mix of colors already available in the forest, although the season has not started yet. Usually we have it in the middle of October that the leaves are making a big move. So it's quite, quite nice to, to see this happening. I will just tell you which town I'm taking the what. This is in the in the country in Savannah, taking dirt roads to go to the forest, to the forest. <coughs> this was in Saint Fabien. <coughs> Why this one tree decided to go bananas, I have no idea. Incredible the color, the strength, and around it, no other trees really has shown big moves. There's a few green ones, but <coughs> like I said, I don't know what makes a tree turn prematurely into color, but every year it's happening, and I, I wanted to catch this year the early bird. <coughs> I will make another run in two, three weeks when the change of the color is, is full, so I can take long distance shots of the whole forest. But those, the close up ones, this is one of the nicest parts of the year. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a frog in the throat. This is Saint Fabienne at the church. With a few, you see the behind it. Again, just a few trees in the alley, all the same trees, but some of them are colorful, some not. This is Saint Fabien, the lower lake. I found a few really sticking out the trees there. And I thought it was worth it to bring it to you. The next one that is on the corner, you will see there is one completely yellow, beautiful yellow and red. It, there's a red one and a yellow one, but it, together it becomes just gorgeous. You see in the background the yellow one. I don't know what kind of tree it is, but just fantastic. I think now we're getting done going back home. Uh, I. I hope you enjoyed a little bit look around my area. I will make a few more I have a few more videos set up for one will be the beauty of my area where I live and uh, 
Yeah, that's about it. Then I hope you enjoyed this, watching this together with me. And uh, well, if you're still there, maybe you left me early again. You will never, never hear those words. <laughs> That can happen, like my friend Tony, he's probably already out of there. He, does, he gets bored very quickly with stuff like that, I guess. Well, and you will see me parking in and uh, yeah, getting out, that's it. Then I thank you again for listening and I hope I see you around for my next uploads. It's been a pleasure. Bye-bye.